Today's lesson is lesson 17, the number line, fractions, and mixed numbers. So we've seen number lines before, and we know that the tick marks represent different numbers. On my first number line, each tick mark represents a different whole number or integer. Okay. On my second line, each tick mark shows a fraction or a mixed number. A mixed number is a fraction plus a whole number. So halfway between 0 and 1 is 1 half. And halfway between 1 and 2 is 1 and 1 half. It works the other way as well. Between 0 and negative 1 is negative 1 half. And between negative 1 and negative 2 is negative 1 and 1 half. Now, the distance between numbers on a number line can be divided into halves or thirds, fourths or fifths, or really any number. So every time we are trying to find a point on a number line, we have to figure out what the fraction is. So here this asks what point A represents what mixed number on the number line? Well, I know my number is greater than 2 but less than 3. So my whole number portion will be the number 2 and then I'll have a fraction. To figure out the fraction, I need to count how many tick marks there are between two and three. So if we look, we have one, two, three, four, five. That means this fraction is broken up into fifths. The A is pointing at the third line. So this is going to be two and three fifths. This next problem asks us to estimate the length of this line of segment in inches. Then use your ruler to find its length to the nearest sixteenth of an inch. So we need to pull out the ruler. So here's my ruler. I know it's a little bit small. Oops. But I should still be able to show you kind of what it looks like. Now each of these tick marks on my ruler is one sixteenth of an inch. Okay. So when we measure with a ruler, we take our ruler and bring it up the, to the end of the line. So the zero on my ruler is going to be at the end of the line. Okay. So then we want to look to see where it goes to. And it's really small, but if we count each of the tick marks, you see it goes to right about here. And so we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tick marks. So that means that this number is eight and eight sixteenths of an inch, because it went to eight first. Okay. Um, we can also say that it's about eight and a half inches. Okay, remember these two um, marks here means inch. You can also write it as eight and a half inches. Okay, so with these other numbers, again, we line it up. Each of the little marks equals a sixteenth. So this first one is three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 3 and 7 sixteenths is how long this line is. My next line goes up past the 9. So it's going to be 9. And then we count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is going to be 9 and 10 sixteenths. Okay. And my last line goes all the way up past 13, so it's going to be 13, and then we count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 again. So 13 and 10 sixteenths. Hey, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.